Kathy and welcome to today's workout. So today is going to be a core workout. Our main focus for today's core workout is going to be rotational work. So when we rotate, we rotate from our internal and external obliques, so side to side, twisting motions, which is extremely functional because we do that pretty much all day. You bend down, pick up groceries, maybe you put it up into a bin or you know, you pick something up and you press it up or you pick up your purse. So we use a lot of rotational work in our everyday life. So it's extremely functional. Um, so much, some of it will start standing, then we will progress onto some abs, and then we will go into some side work as well. All right, so our warm up is gonna be integrated right into our workout, so we're gonna get started right now. So let's roll the shoulders back, pull the abs in, take some nice deep breaths here. Exhale one more time, inhale, and exhale. Now I want you to feel your core rotational uh, body working. So I don't want you to add into some flare here with your upper shoulders and your head. So I want everything to kind of come from your waistline and your abs. All right, so let's start with a relaxed arm position here. Feet are grounded into the floor. Hips are about shoulder width apart. We're just going to twist and twist. Nice and easy twist. So as you warm up with this twist, I want you to feel what's going on. All right, your feet should be grounded. Don't pivot and rotate. So we're forcing the core rotation, rotational to work. Yep, twisting it out. Awesome. I like to keep my gaze a little bit forward and not drag my arms. Okay, so we're gonna go into a three count. So it's going to be one, two, pulse, two, three, one, two, pulse, two, three. Good, that back hand is what really is pulling us back. One, two, three, shoulders back. One, two, pulse, two, three. One more triple, one, two, pulse, two, three. Now we're gonna double it up, double, double. Double, double, four more doubles, four, three, two, and one. Last round of singles, 12, 11, 10. You should be starting to feel your shoulders a little bit, nine, eight, seven, heel, stay grounded, six, five, four, three, two, and one, nice, relax the shoulders. All right, so it's also working those shoulder stabilizers, which is also really good because that works your posture. All right, so we're gonna stay into those feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna bring one arm up, one arm down, and we're just gonna rotate from the side of our waistline. Think of your fingertips angling towards your heels. Nice and easy. All right, so we don't wanna throw our hips into this and rock and roll, it's just Slow and steady through the side of your waistline. Up and down, little windmill actions here. Awesome. Just starting to feel the stretch going on in the side of your waistline. Good, we're gonna do four, and we're gonna add triples in three, two, and one. We're gonna go into a three count. One, two, th one, two, Three, so think of your fingertips leading you towards your heel. One, two, three. Switch, switch. One, two, three. Your posture is really, really important here. Remember, you're rotating from the hips, or waistline, I should say. Three, here we go. One, two. You're gonna do one more after this. Three, one, two, one, two, three doubles. Pulse, 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 pulse. Right now you should be really feeling that waistline. Good, you've got one more and we're gonna go into 12 singles. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Awesome. Relax those shoulders. Give yourself some shoulder rolls. A couple of breaths in and out. All right, so now we're going to take it to our feet together. So I want you to take those feet, glue them together. Think of your inner thighs gluing together and those knees. You're going to roll your shoulders back. We're going to kind of do a similar motion. We're going to add a curl and a press as we alternate reaching towards back of each heel. All right, so let's start with one arm. Actually, let's start with both of our arms here. So we're going to extend one arm, reach. I want you to look up at the hand that is going to the sky and reach, reach. Again, your fingertips towards your heels is where you're really leading. Arm is staying up overhead. Awesome. Reach. Really feel that extension going on from the top of your arm to the bottom of your fingertips. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Now we're going to go into an alternating arm heel reach. So we're going to reach towards the back of your heel. You're going to keep those feet together. You're going to sink down. So your hips are going to go back. Knees are going to come soft. You're going to reach for the heel and then you're going to go to the other side. All right. We got eight here. Let's do this. One, stand. Two, oops, almost lost my balance. Three, four, five, six, sitting back into this, seven, your fingertips are leading towards the back of your heel, eight. Nice. Now we're going to progress this. We're going to reach over. We're going to extend that opposite arm and you're going to hold for a five count. All right. So you're going to reach down, take your opposite hand up. All the way back in line for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring your body up. We're gonna do the other side. So sink back, fingertips towards the back of the heel, extend that arm. Feel the instability through your feet, maybe your ankles. Three, two, one. Slowly bring it up. We're gonna do that again reach up and hold for five four three two and one oh yeah we're gonna do that one more time this side reach across fingertips towards your heel get that balance now i can honestly feel i'm a little more wobbly on one side than the other for three two and one slowly come up Nice work. We've got one last round. This time you're going to hold it for a full 15 seconds, okay? So I want good posture, core is engaged. If you can only go down so far, that's fine too. So go within your range of motion. Roll it back, abs are in. We are going for 15 seconds, starting right now. And reach. Your gaze is to the sky. Holding and reaching. Excellent. Seven seconds. Sir, back. Four, three, two, and one. Now, for me, I could feel myself kind of wobbling through my feet. That's excellent. All right, so you kind of want to feel your body kind of twist or kind of wobbling, and you have to control that wobble. That means that core is working extra hard. All right, we're taking it to the other side. 15 seconds. Let's sink it down. Get your position. Arm comes up, starting now. Arm up and hold. You want to breathe. You want to focus on what you're feeling. Where are you feeling this? If your ankles and your feet are starting to wobble a little bit like mine are, just stay focused, stay grounded. Four, three, two, and one. Ah. Nice, let's stretch that chest and shoulders. Awesome, all right, we've got one more exercises standing. Then we're gonna take it to some ab work, all right? So let's roll it up and back. So here's what we got. We're gonna do a chair pose. So this is kind of a yoga pose, all right? So it's a little more inspired, but we're gonna incorporate a little bit of different movements 
and some balance in here as well. All right, so again, you're gonna put those heels together. So glue your inner thighs and knees together and roll your shoulders back and engage your abs. You're gonna sit deep into your chair. You're gonna bring those arms up right next to your ears up and you're gonna hold. Now, of course, if this bothers you, you bring your arms out in front of you, all right? Holding it here. And I want you to alternate a heel lift. So right heel, left heel, right heel, and left heel. Four more, right, left, right, and left. Now we're gonna add an arm swing to this. So when you lift your right heel, your left arm's gonna come down. Then you're gonna switch, other foot, good. And you're gonna switch, still staying low. You got it. Breathe it out, you've got four, three, two, and one. Back into your chair pose, and you're gonna lift both heels off the ground for eight. Eight, seven, six, how you doing? Five, four, glue those knees and thighs back together. Three, two, and one. You're gonna slowly pull your body up, give yourself a little reprieve, march it out. All right, we're gonna go back down. We're gonna play with some more balance notes, all right? So roll the shoulders, brace the abs. Glue those inner thighs and knees together. Sink it down, chair pose, hold. Awesome work. All right, so from here, you're gonna toe into a right tiptoe. So lift it up, and I want you to lift that knee off the floor and hold. And then you're gonna put that foot back on the floor and do the other side. Left heel up, lift and hold. You're gonna do one more each way. Bring it down, heel, lift, lower, other side, heel, lift, and lower. Now we're just gonna add an extension. Knee, extend, bend, lower. Knee, extend, bend, lower. Stay low, knee, extend, bend, lower. Come on here, really fight for the move. Last four here, four, good, come on. Re-sync and re-put your body back into that nice sit back. Two more here, up and down. Last one like this, awesome work. Now sit back into this, extend that leg for 10, for nine, for eight, for seven, six, five, woo, four, three, two, switch sides, re-sync, lift it up, last 10, nine, sit back into this, eight, abs in, seven, shoulders relax, six, five, four, three, two, one, oh boy, whoo, I don't know about you, but I feel my whole body heating up, I felt my glutes, I felt my quads, my body was shaking, I felt my core, my shoulder stabilizers. So let's just shake it out. Whew. Good job. And forward. <sighs> shake it in and out. Feeling good. Let's take a slick of water here. And we're going to take it down to the mat. We're going to do a little ab. All right. So we're going to take it to the mat or floor. We've got a couple of things here that we're going to do. First of all, we're going to stay in a bent knee position. You're gonna pull the belly in, you're gonna roll the shoulders back, and you're gonna lean back slightly, kind of keeping a little scoop here. Keeping the shoulders relaxed, not hunched forward, neck is long, but we're gonna grab a beach ball hold. So imagine that there's a beach ball in your hand, so there's a slight bend in each elbow. So we're gonna add some rotational work here with a reach. So let me explain how this is gonna work first before we get into it. So scoop the belly, holding your beach ball, relax your shoulders, so we're just gonna rotate to the right here, but as you do, you're gonna bring your elbow down and then you're gonna come forward and reach, all right? We're gonna stay on the right side. 
So we're not necessarily turning our body, we're rotating and driving back at the same time. All right, so here we go. Hold it in, relax your shoulders. Rotate to the side, pull the elbow back, come on up. Good, so remember you're slightly reaching forward as you do this. Breathe, pull back, and up. Think of that elbow pulling you back, you got that beach ball in your arm. Four more like this. Then we'll switch sides. Three more. Keep that beach ball hold. So this is really forcing your abdominal work and your rotators to do all of the work. Good. So my elbow's coming straight back behind you. I'm tapping the floor, but you don't have to tap. Switching sides. So don't forget that reach. Back. And up. Rotate and reach three reach four and reach how are you doing five and reach there's like a storm going on outside and i'm trying to listen to it seven more or two more seven and reach eight and reach roll your shoulders all right, now we're going to do that again, but we're going to add it a little bit faster. We're going to add an opposite leg lift. All right, so you're going to rotate to this right and left, up, lift. So now we're going to pick up the pace here, keeping that beach ball. Hold four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to switch sides. Rotate, reach, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Go ahead and give yourself a little bit of a reprieve here. Round that back forward. Couple of inhales. Okie doke. Legs are going to be long. We're going to do a little bit of a roll up with a, a, a modified V pull in. All right. So we're going to roll back. Arms are going to be over your head. You're going to pull your body up slowly as you come up. And as you do, you're going to drive your knees, your heels in towards your butt and you're going to reach forward. And then you're going to extend down. All right. So slowly as you rise up, pull the belly in, slowly rise up, drive the feet and now reach forward. There you go. And down. Beautiful, slow, peel those shoulders off the floor, drive your knees in and reach. Awesome. Again, pull that belly in, roll all the way up, reach forward, you got two more. Slow and easy, peel that shoulder off, drive those heels in and reach forward, last and final. Nice work, all the way up. Slow and steady, and reach, and roll back. Hug those knees, just give them a little rotation from side to side. Okay, now we're just gonna progress this into a regular bent knee V up. So as you come up, peeling those shoulders, I want you to reach towards your heels, slowly extend back. Yes, so roll it up, pull the knees up, reach, fully extend, and lower, good. Up, pull them in, reach for your heels, lower down. Peel those shoulders, slowly drive in, extend back, you got four more. So now you should be really starting to feel those abs. Don't forget to breathe. Here we go, two more after this. Roll it up. Reach, tap those heels, extend and slowly roll. Last and final, peel, roll, tap, slowly articulate back down. Good, hug those knees, we've got one last round. So here's what I want you to do. Take your hands underneath your knees, roll yourself up. So we're gonna be in a, uh, uh, a V position. 
All right, so we're gonna do a little balance move. So pull the belly in and roll. So level one, you'll be here. Level two, you can fully extend. We're gonna hold and we're gonna change our hands. So our hands are gonna be under and then they're gonna be over. So if you need to, bring your feet to the floor. That would be level one. Level two, you'll be here. Level three, you'll be here. All right, scoop the belly in. Roll the shoulders, prepare, roll back, extend. You're on your sit bones, knees up if you can, extend if you can, under, over, under, over, under, over, good, under, over, good work guys, you're halfway there, under, over, full extent, under, over, come on, fight, you got one more after this, here we go, huh? and done. Oh man, really felt that. All right, we do have one more to do. I said that we were gonna be done, but I forgot. We do have one more ab, and then we're gonna take it to some side work, and you're just about done. All right, so we're just gonna come onto our back. Our feet are gonna be long. Our heels and our legs are gonna be kind of about shoulder width apart. So it's not a wide straddle, but they're not together. So you're gonna slowly roll down. You're gonna take your left hand and you have two options. Option one, you're gonna put it onto the floor. Option two, you're gonna uh, keep it across your belly. Opposite hand is gonna come up. Now watch what we're gonna do here. We're gonna lift that opposite leg. And as you do, you're going to cross over to that heel and slowly roll down. All right, so you're gonna peel your body up. You're gonna reach across all the way over, okay? One slow alternating reach or a one-sided reach and then we'll take it to some doubles. All right, here we go. Peel the body up, reach for the heel, slowly roll down. Again, up. Now, if you need to, you lean into that arm, okay? Adding that lean is not a cheat and reach. And reach, pinky towards the outside back heel, four more, four, three, two more, two, one more right here. Reach across, yes, nice. Now plant that hand onto the floor if you haven't already. Keep that leg up, we're just gonna reach and pulse across. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, whoo! Feeling those? How about you? All right, we're taking it to the other side. Hand down to reach across or across your belly. Roll it up and reach that pinky towards your outside heel. Here we go. Pull it up. Reach. Slowly articulate down. Up. Reach it up, across, slow, yeah. Easy peasy breathing. Put your focus in that rotational reach. Abs in, reach across, four more. We're gonna add those pulses. Up, four, slow. How you feeling those abs? Three, two more. Up, reach it across. You got one more, then we'll take a quick breather, then we'll add those pulses. Up, and reach, and slowly low down. Hand out to that floor, leg is up. Reach across and pulse it. Reach, 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 reach. Oh yeah, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh boy. Let's lay back. Let's just go into some knee drops here, up and over to each side. We're gonna do one more each way. Stretch it out. Good. And taking it to the side, pull your body up. You're gonna come onto one side. Ha, ah, all right, I'm feeling my abs. All right, coming onto your forearm here. Moving a little slow today, do you notice that? Yeah, some days I'm just really feeling kind of on the 
like easy peasy low side. So that's quite all right. All right, so we're gonna come into a modified position here. We're gonna lift those hips up. All right, and as we do that, we're gonna extend the leg out and then down. So you're gonna reach across and then lower down. All right, so here we go. Lift and extend. Three, two, one. Reach and tuck. Reach and tuck. Good, lift strong through that hip. Fully extend through your heel. Awesome. Here's five. Here's six. Here's seven. Really lift that hip. Eight. Nine. One more, and I want you to hold. Hold. Now swing your hand to meet the foot. Keep the hips up. This is three. Four. Five. Full extension. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, 10, and hold. Arm up, pulse that leg. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ho, oh, yikes. Reach it up and over. A oh, little mermaid stretch. That feels so good. Let's take it to the other side, all right? See if you feel differences from one side to the other, okay? You may, you may not. All right, coming into our modified position here. Okay, so we're gonna reach and extend. Hips are stacked. Three, two, one. Here we go. Reach and down. So it's almost like a little bit of a tuck as you come in. Three and down. Four. Five, six, seven, really lift those hips, don't rock them forward. Eight, nine, and 10, hold. Swing the hand to meet the toe. Nine, keep the hips up. Eight, seven, keep breathing. Six, Five, should be feeling it through that hip. Four, three, your waistline. Two, one, arm up, hold that leg. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh boy, that was a doozy. I was really starting to feel that one. Oh, big stretch. Awesome work, all right. We are gonna end with one last move, okay? It's just going to be a plank. So let's come into our prone positions. So we're gonna come onto the floor. So this is gonna be a forearm plank. It's a really good way to end. So we're still gonna work a little bit of the rotators as well into this. So let's just roll those shoulders back. Grab a nice inhale and stretch those arms really quickly back. All right, so we're gonna come into a forearm position. We're gonna drop our hips to the right, to the left four times. Then we're gonna slowly hike our hips up into a dolphin and then come back down. All right, so in motion, it's gonna look like this. All right, feet are extended, feet are flexed, you're onto your toes, relax your shoulders. You're gonna rock to the right, you're gonna rock to the left. You've got four of those. Then you're gonna slowly hike your hips into that dolphin, come back to your plank, and you're gonna go back to those four slow hip rotations and slow dolphin pike to the sky. All right, so we're gonna got a minute here, and I really want you to take your time with this, and I want you to really get the full rotational hip drop without hiking your booty too high to the sky. All right, relax your shoulders, abs are in. Here we go. It's one, it's two, really drop. It's three, it's four. Now slowly hike the hips. Push off, hold back to abs plank position, back to your four hip drops. Two, three, four, hike those hips. Think of that tailbone coming to the sky. You're on your absolute tippy toes, back to your plank. 
you're halfway home. Two, three, four, hike those hips. Back to your plank, four hip drops, four, three, two, one, back to your pipe. Really think about hiking that tailbone. Big stretch, last round. Four, three, two, one. Hike those hips. Strong pike for four, three, two, and one. Drop those knees. Sit into a child pose. You are done. Sit those hips back. Nice job. Go ahead and step one finger, hand out to the side, the other hand out to the side. Give yourself a big stretch through that oblique, the side of your waist, your hips. Take it center, take it to the other side. Sink back into your uh, heels, and booty into your heels. Come back to center and just pull yourself up into a kneeling position. Let's come into a kickstand position. One leg is gonna come out. Just want you to reach all the way to the floor, extend that arm, and I'll reach over to the other. Yeah, good, hand to the floor, big flow overhead. Come on up, reach over to that leg. Good job, up and over, big stretch. We've got one more here. Reach it all the way over and reach to the other side. Awesome, now just sink it back, heel comes up, push your hips back. Oh yeah. Awesome work, you can walk those hands forward, tuck the chin, feel a deeper stretch, and slowly pull your body up. We're just gonna switch sides into the kickstand on the opposite side. Shoulders back, reach all the way up and over, and extend. Good, next get that nice big range of motion as you flow to one side, then the other. Reach up and over, feel that enormous stretch. Good, we're gonna do uh, one full round after this. Don't give me halfways. Go all the way, you're gonna be so happy you did because you're gonna feel so good after this. Awesome work, now heel, toe, sit back into this. So this leg is stretching, inner thigh. Walk the hands forward. And slowly come on up. Let's come into a tabletop, let's curl the toes, let's hike that hip to the sky. Come into some compressions here with your feet. Nice, now just walk your feet to meet your hands, forward fold, rotate to one side, rotate to the other, let your body hang and pull yourself up. Good job, just a couple of knee hugs here for four, for three, for two, one, couple of quad stretches, four, three, two, and one. Let's just go into some arm switches and repeat those up in the opposite way. Awesome work. Reach it over to your side. Four, three, two, and one. Just the way we started, but this time we're gonna add a little bit of the pivot here for four, for three, for two, and one, take it down and up, inhale. Woo, step it in, come to your heart center. Give yourself a round of applause. I hope you enjoyed your rotational core work. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling every inch of it. All right, it was a little slower pace, which is always kind of nice. When we do a lot of higher intensity work, it's nice to take things down a notch, but don't, don't undermine it. You guys worked your core really, really hard today. So hope you enjoyed today's workout. I will see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.